So after, after a false start with the wrong radio, we've got the Midland M30, we've got it on a little tiny power supply, one and a half amp one, and I've brought the M20 out in error, and of course it's the M30. Right, we better put this 18 year old computer on, which is a recent acquisition, and see whether Windows XP is new enough. Better put the Your computer may be at risk. Automatic updates turned off. Yeah, of course it's antivirus. Of course it's all turned off. I don't want it updating. How bizarre is that? Can't I say for a specific in, uh, location? So yeah, the specific location is from the CD-ROM, and then it says he wants to go on the internet. Well, what's it want to go on the internet for? Okay, so let's see whether we can put that disc on another way. Okay, set the Okay, so this is where we stop the camcorder because Although it's on the right port, it's not reading the radio. Perhaps we have to switch the radio off and on again. Okay, so move over to Mr. Chippy's laptop. He doesn't like the uh, the Windows um, XP. XP, that's the one computer. So move over to this uh, Fujitsu laptop of Mr. Chippy's, and it uh, it's read the radio okay. So not sure why that is. And this chair creaks. So the first thing we can it comes up with is you've got memory channels. There are six memory channels, P1 to P6, and it enables you to, um, hopefully, enables you to edit those frequencies. So supposing we wanted Let's see how they're edited from here. Is that it? 
Oh, right. So I would take it from UK channel 31, the one we do all the tests with. Okay, so that's that's how that's done, and and for that channel, you can also address various other parameters. Um, for example, whether the Roger bleep is on. Um, so that's we'll do that, that's done. So now we've got uh, channel one as as channel thirty one UK. Okay, that's the first thing which it does. So you can put some memory channels in there. I'm glad to see you can't edit the frequencies, and um, that does cheer me up. Uh function setup, what's this? Oh yeah, bleep timeout tight. I can't even speak. Timeout timer, backlight brightness, speaker volume, squelch level, auto squelch level, RF attenuator. Uh, whether that's on or not. Whether the, the displays in channel or frequency. Scan type, scan time, squelch hysteresis, auto squelch hysteresis. That's how long it hangs in. Auto power, um, so you can, it would power on and off automatically when you turn the ignition. If you've got it plugged into the cigarette lighter rather than, uh, well, it might even do when it's per when it's wired permanently. It will de detect a voltage drop, and it will come on automatically. So uh, that can be a useful feature. Doesn't default to AM anymore. Good. DTMF. So you can have a DTMF function list. I don't think there's anything DTMF we would be likely to use. Roger bleeps. Oh dear, you can play your own Roger bleeps. So at the moment, Roger bleep one is. Yeah. Am I hearing anything? No. So your first tone is 2100 hertz. The second tone has none. <laughs> so that's Roger Bleep number two, which is 800 hertz. I wonder why it doesn't play. Because it's, it's certainly connected up to the uh, amplifier, etc. So Roger Bleep number three is seventeen hundred nine hundred. Roger Bleep number four six forty nine forty twelve forty fifteen forty. So you've got a five tone. I have to look in the setup and see why that is. Roger Bleep number five fifteen hundred seven hundred. Roger Bleep number six is Compose Your Own. Right. Roger Bleep number seven, Roger Bleep number eight. So you can have up to seven, you can have up to 14 notes. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, as a professional musician, <laughs> Yeah, well, let's see what we can do. I'm going to pause the camera. <laughs> so just to prove what you can do. So you, you can retrieve the, you read the radio, you modify what you want to do, you play, you uh, Transmit it back with right data to transceiver, which I've done. I've now booted the radio up, I've switched on Roger Bleep, we've modified Roger Bleep number one, 
and I've now got my frightfully British Roger Bleed. So I'll now, there's my handheld, see if it's in camera. This is Tango 21. So we've got a frightfully British national anthem, so I'm sure the Queen will be very pleased. And to Rob Charles, I was thinking of doing Guide Me O Thy Great Redeemer because you've got you've got 14 tones you can fiddle with. So between the timing and the frequencies you can compose your music. So just one final one, I can't resist this. Yeah, very good. So yeah, that that's that's a bit of fun, isn't it? I, I, yeah, that does uh, that does appeal to me. But uh, so if it's enabled us to. Oh, you can readdress the keys as well, so that could be you know they could be like we would never want to use the emerging things because I don't know who monitors Channel Nine in this country, but there's a local farming company who uses it, and, and there's no legal protection. So there you go. But you can alter what the uh, what those P one through to six actually do. So that's uh, that. It could be a good feature to readdress those. And what's the local message? Oh no! Right, that's that's a load of um, of nothingness. So when I write to the radio, it says not all things are supported. So it do, the radio doesn't do CTCSS, but the software does. So although it says it's for the M30, and it doesn't say anything else, it looks like there's features on here that aren't actually available in the radio. And the other thing I noticed when I was messing with this Roger Bleep, it's, I think the radio's got four or five. There's four, there's five. It's, the software has 6, 7 and 8, but the radio doesn't have 6, 7 and 8, so you can't compose on those. But I thought that was a, that was a bit of fun. So, yes, you can, you can put your home channel into those um, 6P addressable memory buttons. You can change those around. You can mess with the Roger Bleeps. And um, that's about what the software does. So... I can think one or two people who would go out and buy that and, and compose their own uh, a bit of music. So <laughs> it's not hard to look up on the internet what notes relate to what frequencies because I really couldn't be bothered to start getting any textbooks out and I did just that. I found a thing here, Colorado Education, and that tells us the the keyboard to the frequencies which the notes generate and I instantly found a, a virtual piano so I was able to let's put a wrong note in had to do that so there you have it the rather bizarre Midland M30 programming software which is the PRG30 and uh, we'd better say thank you to Mr Chippy's computer uh, for letting us you do this. Mr Chippy isn't here at the moment and you know when when the cat's away and all that. So there is no um, radio this Sunday so we're back at church and time's now very much different to what it was in the past but I'm sure we'll be able to do them from time to time. So thank you for watching the Midland PRG30 software package.